Welcome back to Veertech Gaming. Again, thank you for opting for premium and being a part of this journey with us. We hope to bring you many more features in the near future, so please remember to join our Discord and stay up to date with updates and those new features as they come out. Today we are covering the Economy System Store setup. We'll cover how to add teleports to the store, include cooldowns and delivery delays, create role-specific teleports and also the position options so we can create an order that the store is displayed in, editing the teleports, and finally, how to remove them. With all this in mind, let's get started. For the teleports, I'm going to be making its own category. So as before, start slash category add, I'm going to call this teleports and hit enter. As before, there's our confirmation. Now to add the teleport. We're going to use the command slash product add hyphen TP. You'll see here we have five options that are mandatory for this section. Category, name, and X, Y, and Z. It's a little different this time, but let's just select our category and name it. I'm just going to outpost. Now for the coordinates, let me show you the best way I recommend to get coordinates for a teleport. Open up your game and actually head over to where you want your teleport to be. I'm going to stand roughly right here. Now the trick I use is enter no clip mode and ever so slightly float above the ground. This will stop people from teleporting underneath the map. Now open up your command panel in your admin panel and enter the command print POS. Hit enter and you will see this little data feed which will show you your current position. It needs to be entered in the order shown. So X is the first number. So we enter that here. Second is Y and finally third is Z. So now they're done, let's look into the optional. First we have price. With this, we can set a cost of the item. The choice really is yours, but I'm going to set it at zero. Game server. Now, if you have more than one premium game server, then you can stipulate which game server you want this to be purchasable on. Leaving it blank allows it to be purchased on any server you have connected. I do recommend that if you are considering perhaps having more than one server and are thinking of having different value stores, or even not wanting that particular teleport on another store, then I would personally select my game server. Since we only have the one here, I'm going to leave it alone. Server cooldown. This limits how many times this item can be purchased server-wide. So if I were to set this to 600, remember these are in seconds, so this represents 10 minutes. If little Johnny was to buy this teleport, then another player couldn't buy it until that 10 minute timer expired, and this would be the same for the next purchase. I'm not looking to add this, so I'm not going to select it. Player cooldown. Here we can limit how often an individual player can buy this teleport. Again, if little Johnny was to buy this now, he personally couldn't purchase it again for 10 minutes if we were to set that same timer we just mentioned. However, this timer is on the individual and not the server, so all other players could still purchase it. So I'm going to set a one hour limit. In seconds, this converts to 3600. So this means each player can now redeem this once every hour. Roll. This option allows you to add teleports that will only allow specific Discord roles to buy it. So if you have a VIP role like I have set, we can click this and you see here my VIP member role. We're going to go ahead and click that. So now anyone who doesn't have this Discord role will not be able to purchase this teleport. Remember that this is optional. So if you want it to be available to everyone, then please leave this option blank. Position. Now some people get confused with this. The position is an order you want it to appear in when it lists them. Starting at zero for first, one for second, two for third, and so on. Let's say you want the teleport here to always be first in the list, then we would enter zero. And finally, we have delivery delay. You can specify how long between the player clicking the buy button and the player being teleported by entering a value here. This is again in seconds, so I'm going to enter three. From this, after a player buys the teleport from my store, there will be a three second delay in the action taking place. And once we hit enter, you see here a summary of everything I entered. Product name, price, cooldowns, and even purchase history for when you want to check later. So let's say you've made a mistake, or you want to edit something on that teleport maybe the price, a cooldown, or even add and remove certain roles. We can do this using the slash product edit hyphen TP. Here we will be shown all of our options. 
Again, if this exceeds 25, then we might have to type for autocomplete to kick in. I'm selecting Outpost, and you'll see all of the options again to carry out any edits. One thing I will say, with the teleports, it is mandatory for you to re-enter the coordinates for them. So please make sure you have them on hand if you're not going to change them. Also, as with all other edits, if we don't enter the price, then it automatically reverts back. So please ensure that you enter the price again. Carry out any edits you like. For me, I'm just going to change the name to Outpost Edited. As mentioned, we need to re-enter the coordinates. Ours aren't changing, so they are the same as before. X, Y, Z. And again, we need to enter the price. We're staying at zero. Once we have carried out our edits, hit enter again, and we will get a confirmation that this has been registered. Finally, how to delete a product. To delete a product, we need to use the command slash product delete. As you can see here, we will be given our options on a drop down menu. Simply click the product, hit enter, and the confirmation will show on screen like this. So we've covered how to add a teleport, all of the options, how to edit a teleport, and finally how to delete it. We will see you next time where we will cover how to do the same thing again, but finally with commands. Until then, happy grubbin'.